Maria, hi, how are things? Uh, Forcey, thanks a million for coming to the next check-in. Uh, how have you and Ben been, first of all? Great, thank God. He's five and a half months old now. I can't believe how time, how quick time is going. Um, I'm due back for maternity over the next couple of weeks and it's just all been a complete blur. Um, and <laughs> he started teething there in the last month or two, which has been a little bit less fun, but thankfully he's still sleeping. Still the, sleeping. Like, that's, the, that's the key to a happy happy mother is... Uh, the sleep. Exactly. <laughs> nice. Man, you to go back to work in the next couple of weeks. One of the main things we spoke about before was trying to get a different type of job just because they have the social hours when you have Ben as well, but also the income. And um, so how is that going? Um, so I've updated my CV and I've sent it out to a couple of places. I have had a couple of interviews, right. interviews, but nothing landed as of right now. Um, but I'm hopeful, hopeful to have something, some good news over the next week or two anyway. Okay, that's brilliant. Okay, brilliant. So again, when we do start the income again, whether it goes back to the old job next couple of weeks, obviously some income to start coming back in again. Um, and I understand our social welfare there in the background as well. So you're going to have to look at your hours you can do uh, and make sure that income keeps coming in along with making sure uh, that you have those sociable hours sorted for Ben as well. Obviously, you want to spend yeah. as much time as you can. So with that being said, I think what we'll do is we'll do the other check-in maybe in the next three to four weeks see how the income stream is getting on and then we can lay the plans to have that really good foundation into the financial plan which is the income being sorted from a flexible point of view and then the saving plan some element of the savings plan being up and running and when we look at that savings we're going to look at something short term just to kind of get you to Christmas so what I want you to really consider here going forward with your financial plan is to stay out of debt no debt no debt no debt so I know you're doing really well on a shoestring budget with the social welfare and uh, with the maternity benefit um, so obviously when that stops, we're going back to the old job or hopefully a new job. Um, I want you to be really focused on Christmas probably going to be your first hurdle uh, in yeah. relation to making sure you, you stay tempted, t- don't get tempted into debt. Um, and, you know, a, a lot of parents do that when they get towards Christmases. So if we can get a small savings plan up and running from September to December, uh, even 50 euro a week or, you know, 100 quid a month, even 25 quid a week. It will just give you that extra few hundred euro at Christmas time to ease the pressure to make sure you're not falling to any bad habits. Yeah, absolutely. And like we've kind of planned with a small Christmas because it's his first one. Obviously, we will mark the occasion. But it's not going to be anything major either. Like you said, not going into debt and kind of keeping, not going and buying something that we can't afford. Like he's not going to remember he's down the road. He's not going to remember for a thought. No, oh, no, he won't. No, not in seven or eight months. Um, okay, Maria, look, I know today sh- to check in a short and sweet. Um, best of luck if you do go back in the next couple of weeks and we'll touch base in the next three to four weeks to find out what is the old job, the new job, what the income is looking like and how you're getting on, okay? That's great, Paul. Perfect. Brilliant. Thank Thanks you. a minute. Cheers. Thank you.